Oh my god. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got this look. It was inspired, of course, by John McLean. Look at this beautiful, look at that. Oh my goodness. The lines, the colors, the alien-like shift in our skin. I am just so fucking obsessed. If you're a little bit of normal makeup and you wanna see how I created this look, then make sure to keep on watching. Right. I don't even really know where to start. This is obviously inspired by John McLean. Absolutely gorgeous. This. This right here. This is what we're trying to do, but I'm going to do like my version of it. Okay, so I actually have no idea where to start. So I don't have any like blue paints or anything. The only thing I do have is this RCMA palette. It has a blue corrector in it and a white shade. So I'm going to see if I can create like a baby blue. We shall see. I'm just taking the palette and I'm taking this little knife that I've got and just digging a lot of the blue out. It's breaking my heart because I really like that blue. I use it to adjust the colors of my foundations and a big chunk of the white as well. I love ASMR. Okay, this is what we've got. It's more of like a periwinkle blue, but I mean, this is what we're gonna go for. And then we're gonna like lighten and adjust it on the face as we go. Just like John did, I'm gonna dip into this blue and kind of just, I don't know, eh? Put it everywhere. Bring it right down past the nose. Now I was gonna cover my eyebrows, but I think I'm just gonna use my natural ones today. I don't really like covering my eyebrows with glue. It just ends up looking kind of rank and I'm obviously not gonna fucking shave them. Oh, it's been so long since I've like been able to play with makeup like this. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on TikTok to like, you know, do tutorials that people would actually like gain use out of. But like where I truly, truly have the most fun with makeup up is doing shit like this and this cream is so shiny but so 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 full coverage could have been in my eye but it doesn't matter so i'm just gonna pick up the like extra blue with this sponge that i've now decided to like ruin because i'm never going to be able to clean this and get the blue out of it that's right it's a shit morphe one anyway and i'm just gonna pat that in now I'm gonna take some of the white and I'm gonna use that to start highlighting this palette has saved my life usually this is covered in skin tone but fucking doing alien blue today. Taking that sponge dipped into a little bit of the white, we're gonna start to tap that out. Oh my God. <sighs> right, now that that's nice and blended, we're gonna start going in and contouring. And I'm just gonna use just the straight up blue from the palette. And we wanna go dark, but like not too dark because we're gonna end up cutting everything with the black. And I'm gonna do the like that thing. Now I've just dipped into the blue with the back side of the sponge because I don't want to use the same side to blend this out. And I'm just going to start tapping. I'm really not worrying about what the edges look like down there because we're going to end up cutting through all of that anyway. I'm just, just focusing on the blend. That's incredible. Oh my God. And then I'm just going to go back in with the lighter side. I don't know why I'm treating this video like a tutorial. If anyone is actually like gonna do this, obviously don't credit me, credit John McLean because King of All created this. But if anyone is actually like recreating this, please tell me, cause I wanna see. So you just wanna go in with the girl, nobody's gonna do this. But I'm just patting everything in and making sure everything looks nice and smooth. Where the fuck is my setting powder? All right, we're gonna go in with the RCMA no color setting powder. All of my other powders have like a yellowish tinge to them because I do normal makeup, but this one is completely white, so. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not like too worried about the lid because we're gonna go in with eyeshadow. And this is obviously an issue. I, I again, I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but we will figure it out. Mm. Right. I didn't think this through because like all of my brushes have like normal color on them and I really should have cleaned them before I started, but I didn't do that, did I? So to dust all of this powder off, I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star um, Blue Blood Eyeshadow Palette. This is perfect for this look because it has like every shade of blue in it. And I think I'm gonna take Blue Blood, this one right here, and I'm just gonna dip into that with a clean brush and just get it on there. And then I'm gonna use that to dust off this like white powder. And I'm gonna start trying to blend everything together with that blue blood shade. Like I'm not using it as highlight and I'm not using it as contour. I'm kind of just putting it in between to make sure that everything has a nice blend. And then we'll go in in a quick sec with eyeshadows to start highlighting and contouring. Okay, that kind of looks great. Now to highlight, I'm gonna take the shade I'm Cold. I, I don't know if that's gonna be too dark, but I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna saturate that 
on a big fluffy brush like this and just kind of place it under the eye and see what it's giving. Okay, it's adding like this pastelness. I just want this to look blue, like blue, blue, blue. And the kind of cream was a little bit more of a periwinkle tone and the white setting powder like settled that down even more. So now I'm just going in with like proper eyeshadows to really blue everything up. And now we can see the shape that everything is starting to take. I want like quite an intense white so I'm gonna go in with the cremated palette my one's like a bit broken but there's this white shade there that I want to dip into and I'm just using the same brush and I'm gonna use this to really really start highlighting oh yeah oh yeah look. now we're gonna start if my camera will focus now we're gonna start building up the contours I'm gonna start with the shade blue blood like as you can see that is a royal proper actual blue again girl i don't know what brush i'm gonna use i might take this one this is a really really big brush from mecca and i'm just dipping into that blue and i'm gonna start to really really precisely build up those contours why can't you just take like a big brush and make life easier because all of my brushes have orange bronzer on them and i don't, honestly don't want to ruin them and i can't be fucked to wash the big ones so fuck yeah fuck yeah look at that and of course i'm gonna really start building that up on the forehead because that's where we've gone a little bit patchy and i don't want to look patchy just also going to bring that contour back right there we're going to go back in with eyeshadow but i just really want to build that up to get that like sucked back look i need a cut i need some contour here because this blues make my forehead look so fucking huge and i'm like not enjoying that experience so i'm just going to cut it down a little bit now i think we're going to get a head start on the brow so i'm actually going to zoom you all in and you can see we do look a little dry our skin looks a little bit like deprived of moisture but there's not much i can really do about it. I've got the hiccups and I don't know why. For black, I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. I can't show you because if I tip the palette, then there's gonna be black all over me. And I'm gonna use that to start defining my brow. And I'm gonna bring my brow kinda, John brought his out and more up turned. So that's what I'm gonna do. And at the front, I'm gonna bring my brow really, really low. Cause I really like how that looks. It looks quite evil, do you know what I mean? When you bring a brow nice and low. I think this is the brow we're gonna do a lot, a lot thicker than John's, but you know. And this look is gonna have a lot of harsh lines in it, so that's what I'm kind of going for. I'm kind of going for more of a harsher brow just to match all of the lines that are gonna be on our face in literally a couple of minutes. Right, so now that I've packed like all, like that's black. That's proper black, but now I'm gonna start feathering whatever is left on the brush into the front of the brow. That looks sickening. I fucking love that. Okay, now we're gonna go in with eyeshadow, and I mean, the eyes are kinda already primed with a bunch of blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sponge that we had blended our face out with and just use that. And then now that the eyes are ready, I'm gonna take the shade I'm Cold, and I'm just gonna use that to set all of my lid, cause we're kinda going for like a kinda cut crease today. And this is a little bit different to how I would do it, but John basically built the cut crease from the get go, so that he didn't have to like carve it out with concealer and stuff, which is what we see like all the beauty gurus do. It's what I do, I cut it out. John used the light shade first, and then set the lid area and then started to build the crease, which I thought was so fucking cool. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, going in with the shade Blue Blood right there, and we're gonna go in with like a little, one of these like little buffer brushes. We're just gonna use this to start sketching where we want the cut crease to be. Going in with a nice light shade first so that if we make any mistakes, it's not like the end of the world. And John kind of went down in a circle for his one, but I'm gonna be, different and i'm gonna wing mine out because i'm so obsessed with like winged cut creases and it's gonna look so good especially um with all the harsh lines that we're gonna have now i'm gonna go in with this shade the darker blue and we're gonna use that to start actually defining this cut crease i'm also bringing this just on the lower lash line just to connect and then i'm gonna bring it out into the wing and it's kind of gonna fade into that contour shade and i'm gonna really 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 cut this into the nose we're going super i was gonna say we're going super dramatic but that's a bit more than super dramatic i don't even know what that is that's ridiculous but i'm gonna go in with the same shade just on a little fluffy pencil brush and i'm gonna use that to start buffing out these edges slowly and then going in with the blue blood shade the one that's a little bit lighter just to scratch at these edges Going in with the brush that we used to contour and I'm just gonna start to blend that blue into the contour. Do you see what I mean? And then just taking it through the crease and pulling it up and out. 
And it's kind of just going to get that all to just fade and disappear into one. Also, what John did is he took the blue right up into the brow and it had such a cool effect. So obviously I'm going to copy him. I'm just going to really build some depth up there and it's going to really strengthen the brow bone. And it's going to make us look quite evil. So now I'm going to go in with the brush that I used for black and I'm going to go in with a really, really dark blue. This one is Undertaker from the Blue Blood palette. And here's where we need to be careful. Here is where I'm going to start actually sketching the line as to where we want the cut crease and of course connecting that just to the under eye and pulling it up and out and i'm going to bring this down into a wing shape now just with a little smaller blending brush i'm going to go and just kind of pack that on the outer corner because that's what we're going for and i'm going to start to just blend that up and out oh absolutely absolutely this looks so great. Oh, I love that. And now I'm going to use this little trick that John said. He said, when you're like doing the cut crease, like how the pros do it like this without needing to carve it, you take your dark shade, you place it where you want it, and then you flick up and away with the brush. And it'll allow you to get that blend without going back and forth with the brush, which is going to diminish that line. Now I'm going to go in with some liquid liner. This one is the Extreme Precision Liner by Benefit. We're going to end up deepening this out a bit with black anyway, but I just kind of want to bring out a shape with some winged eyeliner. And then giving ourselves that wing, which I'm going to blend out with black eyeshadow because I don't want you to be able to see the liner. Going in with the black on a really, really small blending brush. And I'm just going to start to buff that liner out. And then I'm kind of creating that triangle angle shape at the end and then flicking it up to really really get that pulled back eyeshadow look we're going to do a little line on the inner corner there i think that's good now i'm going in with the sigma long wear eye pencil and this one is a black one and i'm going to use that to line my waterline and then i'm just going to smoke that out just a little bit with some black eyeshadow that looks sickening. Now I'm just going in with some mascara. Just scratching that over the lashes since all of my lashes have decided to turn blue. And John's done a lash, but I don't really know if I want one. I really like the darkness that this is giving at the moment. I'm just going to quickly float one on to see what it will look like. If it'll look better with one. Oh, oh I'm going to do a lash. Oh, fuck it. These are the Lily Lashes and they're in the style Miami Flare and I want the flare because I really want it to flick up and out. And if you've seen my TikTok on how to, you know, pull the eyes up with lashes, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. I'm just using the Duo Lash Glue and I'm going to pop that all over the lash band. And once I've let that dry, I'm just going to stick that on, but I really, really want to elongate the eye. So I'm not going to bring it close to the inner corner because that's also going to start hiding this cut crease because my eyes are really small anyway so i've basically just stuck it like halfway and then the tail of the lash i'm going to lift that up and stick it right up there like that is nowhere near my natural lash line but it's really going to give us that pull all of this contour is pulling up the brows pulling up the eyeshadow is pulling up and we want to do the same with the lash now i'm going to zoom you out and this is hello whole new fucking world so now we're gonna do the really scary part and that is um carving everything out with black i was gonna go in with a black watercolor paint to do like all the cutting but i can't for the life of me find where i put it but luckily i have a black cream paint in here the only thing with this cream paint is that it's going to be very very shiny but i don't know we'll see and if it's too shiny we'll just matte it down with some black eyeshadow but it might actually be okay so to start i'm just gonna start painting like the whole area that i don't need to be precise in and that is basically like this whole cheek i can just fill that in almost forgot i need to go in and line my eyes with black oh my god this is gonna be such a bitch to get off in the shower i'm literally gonna make the whole shower black and i'm probably gonna get a fucking eye infection because i really really have to saturate this eye and this black pencil just to make sure everything is nice and dark let's return to the painting i'm just gonna start darkening all around this eye just so you can kind of see the vibe that we're going for i don't have an orange wig but i really want to incorporate the orange into this so i think i might do orange lipstick if it doesn't look bad so just to make that easier for myself i'm basically like reverse lining the lips just because i don't want to get black all over them 
and then have to take it off with a makeup wipe to get the orange on. It'll be really fucking hard. So I'm just, I don't know, I don't know what else you'd call it. Reverse lining the lips. This looks fucking insane, but okay. Now I'm gonna start doing the cuts because I don't want to like accidentally fill in an area that I shouldn't. So I'm gonna start nice and low. So if I make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Oh, that's way too low. Okay, we'll go a little bit higher. We can do it. I'm just gonna make a cut like that, a nice brave cut, and then start filling that in downwards. And this is a really nice brush. This is the Jar Cosmetics CC3 brush. It's meant to be a cut crease brush, but the bristles are so precise. So first, just to give us a base, I'm gonna cut kind of halfway down my forehead. That was a really nice glide, look at that. And then I'm just gonna fill this all in with black just so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the eyebrow pencil and start doing the like harsh square cuts. Now John's face is very different to mine so I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do, but I might start with the little eyebrow cut that kind of follows the cut crease and then it cuts straight across. And John has cut kind of down the nose. I don't fucking know how he did that so straight because my nose is crooked as shit. And I'm gonna slowly and carefully fill that in with black. I don't wanna be too messy because I'll probably hit outside of the lines. Okay, okay, <gasps> we're doing it. Now I'm gonna cut in a little bit further on the forehead with this like John has. This feels like I'm doing maths. No, <laughs> in this photo that I'm looking at, John's hasn't got much eye, like forehead space because he's pulled his wig down like quite a lot and his brow is obviously a lot higher than mine. So I'm going to have to kind of go on a whim here and just do what I feel will work for my face shape and then kind of bring this or oh, maybe about there and then cut that into a square. That looks quite rough at the moment, but just give me a second. What I might do is add an even harsher cut or an even longer cut right at the top. And I'm trying to keep the like the distance nice because here we have a, 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 a like an inverted square and then we have the black square so I'm trying to keep the same width between them just to keep it consistent. The angle is going to change because my forehead is like slanted so from the side it kind of looks like almost like a fucking parallelogram but then from the front it goes straight and that's something John was talking about about how like the more you turn the like angles start to change. Okay I think that's what we're gonna do and it's like the best thing for my face shape. This kind of looks like a city. Do you know what I mean? Like it kind of looks like like I've got a city going down my face. And now I can kind of just fucking relax and breathe now that I've got those lines out of the way. I really want to take black all the way down my chest, but like I don't know if I have enough black face paint to be completely honest. I could have done it with my water-based shit, but I don't know where it is. I'm taking that neck fucking necklace off because I'm not getting black all over that. I will sue. I'm just going to take a quick two seconds to try and find that that water-based body paint because I can't take that little pot of black all over my chest. Okay, so update, it was actually right in front of me, but that's all right because I actually really like the shine that the grease paint has given on my face. This is very, giving very matte and I think it looks great in contrast, but I'm not using that on my chest. So I've got my tag body paint here. I don't have like any cheap brushes that I can ruin. I just lied to your face. How do you feel about that? I have one right here. You see, this shit is black. Like, it is black, black, black. I'm gonna bring this all the way up the neck. Do you see how dark that is? Like, my camera, like, doesn't even want to process that properly. Fuck, I'm really gonna make a mess of the shower. Okay, so, obviously we have an issue over here. Like, everything seems so well connected, except for this ear. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut down into the grease paint. Then I can start to fill in all my hairline and stuff and get it to look really, really nice. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just carry this over. That little rectangle that we did, I'm just gonna bring it right across. And we're actually gonna cut a little square. We are like not even near done, like this looks finished, but the only thing is, is John had like these beautiful blue reflex on this side and at the moment it's just black with a white reflect and I want to incorporate the blue. So I'm gonna take this. This is a cream eyeshadow by Jar Cosmetics and it's in the shade Chillax. It's this, it's this beautiful blue reflect. And John has just literally gone in with his finger and used this to add some blueness. What it's doing is it's changing the reflect from white 
to blue. You see it still looks black from the front, but when we turn, it's a blue shift now. And I'm just basically dipping in back and forth because the more I tap, the more the blue starts to disappear and turn into the black, which is good because then I can, you know, really blend it in this whole area. But then in the places where it shines the most, I can add another layer down the center and it just amplifies the blue. This is how you get like dimension when you've already got black everywhere. You really need to add like a colored shine. Okay, that's enough destroying this little pot that broke my fucking heart doing that. The, obviously, the missing link of all of this is the lip. This is what we have at the moment. I'm gonna pick up the orange on the brush and I'm gonna start to line my lips. Is that gonna look nice or is this gonna completely clash? Sorry, I'm just like staring at myself in the mirror and I'm like, is this ruining it or is it making it? But I think I like it. I really like that. It looks super different. Now, obviously I can't take that cream eyeshadow like all over my chest because I'm gonna use the whole thing, but I'm gonna take the shade here. It's called Ocean Ice from the Blue Blood Palette. And I'm just gonna load up this big brush and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna see if it wants to stick first. Oh my God. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, now I'm gonna go and do the finishing touches and I am gonna come back. And here is the finished look. Holy shit. I can't even begin to explain how fun this video was to film. Again, this was all completely inspired by John McLean. I'm gonna leave the link to his video in the description below, but look at my face. These lines just create the most interesting effect. The blue and the orange work so well together. These, I don't know what they are, but John did them and they complete the look. The contacts, this like extraterrestrial shift in our skin. Let me know if you enjoyed this video because I get sick of normal makeup and I haven't done anything this out of the box and so far long if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like it tells youtube that you liked it so that other people can watch too don't be so selfish and if you would be ever so kind please press that subscribe button we're aiming for 10k bitch let's go let's do it i will see you next week on sunday at 5 p.m goodbye